YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Glizzy back doing another video, and today I'm be giving you a couple tips to help you learn claw. Even if you already know how to do it, if you're still struggling, you're in the process, these tips will make everything so much easier because the journey is hard, and a lot of people quit after a couple days or a week because they don't address these issues that I'm about to talk about today. And these tips will just help you get rid of those and will make everything more fun, seamless, and happen a lot faster so we can get the end result we want when switching to claw. But with that being said, if you do enjoy the video today, remember to leave a like down below and subscribe for more content. Let's not waste any more time and get into these tips. Okay, so the first tip I'm gonna give you to help make this transition a little smoother, you know, more fun, less stressful, is real simple. It's literally just to change your sensitivity. And there's pretty good reason behind this. So if we look, right, um, so if we look at my hand real quick, if I'm playing claw, if you notice where my thumb sits, the angle it sits at on the analog stick right here, if I were to switch to normal, look at how much that angle and spot on the thumbstick changes. So instead of being over here like it is, it's now like over to the left more and more flat. So it changes the angle, and if I were to switch from this to this, it's going to throw off my muscle memory. And if I keep my sensitivity the same, I'm going to be mad at myself for, uh, you know, missing builds and edits and feeling wonky right and missing shots that i normally would hit when it's really just a learning process so switching to claw itself is like learning a new sensitivity because you got to relearn how to aim and do all that good stuff so by switching the sensitivity right you'll trick yourself into just thinking you're learning a new sensitivity while you're also learning new muscle memory so it kills two birds with one stone so say instead of playing on 100 100 i would maybe lower it a little to like 85 85 but i want to raise my build up because i want to build faster right so of course i'm going to be messing up because it's a new sensitivity and all that good stuff but at the same time i'm aware i'm going to be messing up because it's a new sensitivity so i'm not going to expect myself to be able to do everything flawlessly right so it just takes that stress off of your mind of thinking that you should be able to do something when it's not really your fault and you're just learning. So it's kind of like a placebo trick effect that just makes everything more fun for you. Okay guys, the next tip I have to make this transition a lot smoother and faster is to practice against real players. Whether it be, you know, public matches, arena games, 1v1s, box fights, zone wars, it doesn't matter. It could be good players, it could be bad players. It doesn't matter as long as you're practicing against real players. And the reason for this is, is it doesn't matter how good your mechanics are, right? You could literally be able to do like anything in the world, right? Do stuff like that on your first week if you get that good mechanically. Which, uh, it might happen, it might not, but if you're not practicing against real players, when you switch to those game modes and try to 1v1 someone or uh, play like arena or anything like that, you're not going to be used to the pressure, you're going to misclick a lot and it's going to feel like you just started learning again. So if you avoid uh, doing all of this stuff, you're going to be trying to uh, do your, your edit retake and you're going to be messing up because you're getting pressured, right? You're going to be like trying to replace someone's wall and you're going to be like pressing the wrong buttons like missing your pickaxe and your ramp and it's just not good and i could speak from experience from this because to be honest i spent way too much time uh just free building and working on my mechanics myself when i first started switching and it wasn't until about my third or fourth week where i realized i needed to start playing against real players to be able to get that fighting IQ and get rid of those nerves while playing because again you're learning a new thing so even though you're really good and creative you could do all your retakes right it doesn't matter because there's no pressure on you but playing with those people will help you get over that pressure and you won't have to learn again because otherwise if you put it off you'll have to do what I did and learn how to fight again and it's almost like a second time learning claw and it's not fun and it's really demotivating and it it just hurts it really does so practice against real players okay so my next tip i have to make this transition to claw a lot easier smoother and way faster with this one is to never change your binds that's right so i want you to pick a set of binds and just stick with them and 
the way we do this is on our first day we try out a bunch of them and figure out what buttons we like the most which ones feel most comfortable and I know none of them really will but you just gotta choose one and then just ride it out for the first month or so first month or two before you think about changing anything and the reason for that is it's not the binds that matter so much when first learning claw it's the process of getting your finger used to pressing these buttons and when you keep changing your binds around it gets confused and it's forgetting what it's supposed to do where it's supposed to go and it just makes that learning process of holding the controller itself a lot harder so if you don't know where to start you can go ahead and just like look at pro player settings copy those but if you want to figure out what's best for you, I have a video talking about the best uh, claw binds for you personally and I go over how you could find those. So you could check that one out if you want. But this tip, just never change your binds. It'll make everything so much smoother and you won't have to like keep retraining your finger for that first month or so. Okay guys, so I have one last bonus tip for you. And this is probably the most underrated tip and will help you improve the fastest and have the most fun. And that is switch with a friend right and that doesn't have to mean they're switching to claw right maybe they're uh want to switch to keyboard if you have a friend who wants to switch to keyboard you can literally switch with them or if they want to switch to claw you switch to claw too because one of the hardest things while switching to claw is keeping motivation because you are going to be worse than you were before and that's why a lot of people stop uh playing claw is because they're they're worse than they were before but if you're switching with somebody you're going to be playing someone who's also not very good and they're worse than they were before so you guys can bounce ideas off each other how you're learning how you're improving and all of that good stuff and it just makes it so much more fun because things will be more competitive too since you're both new to whether it be claw or one's new to keyboard or maybe one's switching to paddles i don't know new settings just switch with them and it'll make everything so much more fun because you won't be getting bullied and beat 24 7 and you'll actually be having someone your skill level so this one it, it doesn't matter who it is literally you could find random people who are switching to claw and comments of youtube videos and all that stuff just trust me it makes everything so much more fun i wish i did it Alright guys, that's going to do it for the video today. Now, I gave you these tips because I want everyone to be able to switch to Claw who wants to very easily. Now, I know the process is hard and challenging. Even if you're already there, you got a couple steps. These tips will help you get over a couple of those things. And I just want everyone to be able to switch who wants to because learning Claw is just super helpful. And not only for Fortnite in the long run, but your whole gaming career is you can take it to any game you play. But with that being said, if you do have any other videos you want to see, just let me know down below and I'll get back to you. And I might even make a whole video on the topic, really depending on what it is. But as always, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.